Siemi, Siemi, Benan Zambi, all praises. Natatan Zambi, Mpungu Tulendo Akongo. Hallelujah. Welcome again, Facebook, YouTube. We're glad to have you with us as always. And to our brothers and sisters on the Zoom session who's joining us, welcome. And good to see each and every one of you. Siemi, Benan Zambi. <laughs> Hallelujah. We last Samba, we discussed know those who labor among you, enemies within the camp. And I have said that we would have a part two on today. It was a great discussion that we had last Samba. And I would ask also that we do the same today and allow uh, the move of the Mwanda to have his way. Um, we want you to, to open up and talk, okay? We, I, I believe in iron sharpening iron. That's what we do, all right? We're family and we're speaking. So, um, Today, you know, like I said, I want to address our brothers and sisters on the continent. Why? Well, you will see shortly, okay? And you will hear as we go forth. But I wanna do something real quick. I wanna share something with you all. Let me know if you can see this. Yes, we can see it. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So, Mundeliitis. What is Mundeliitis? Uh, a sickness. Yes, it is. Here's one of them. Lying. Cheating, stealing, scamming, backbiting, the urge for self gain at the expense of others. No concern for life, human or animal. Desiring what others have and trying to get it. And these are just a few things. If you suffer from any or all of these symptoms, you have Mundeliitis. But rest assured, there is a cure. It took 400 years to create Mundeliitis, but you can be delivered from it by simply deciding to abandon the symptoms, which are the natural ways of the Mundelis, and return to your natural ways. Those of Tata and Zambi and our righteous ancestors. In Geta. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mundeliitis. So we saw what the symptoms of Mundeliitis are. Anyone have any comments on what I just showed? You want to say anything about it? Stockholm Syndrome. Mm. All that fits <laughs> right into Mundeliitis. <laughs> 
Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? I think that it's easy to fall victim to that um, as an act um, uh, diaspora uh, going to the continent. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful because people that look like you, what is it like? The uh, uh, it's not necessarily, yeah. uh huh, not necessarily for on your side. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. As, as, and they, they see an opportunity and jump on it. Yes. Yes. You're right. Queen Royal Daughter, you were going to say something? Yeah. I mean, I had to laugh out loud when I heard the word. But, um, you know, that's a serious topic. Because what you're, what you're explaining there happened to our ancestors coming out of Kemet. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to repeat that. And the lessons that, that's in the book, I don't think that our father wanted to shame his children, but they are for us. We are at that convergence point. Everything in the book Mm -hmm. everything that's written in the book is all about us in this time in the last days because he wanted to make sure we don't repeat the same mistakes mm -hmm. so they told us everything good and bad so they because they didn't want to what, risk us losing out so we have to take this seriously because it is you know he spoke he spoke about our father abana having obedience in his DNA. He said that I gave you a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. So these mm -hmm. things are not in our DNA. Mm -hmm. These things were what the enemy imprinted in our ancestors. You know, they, they keep talking about how our ancestors were stiff naked. That's not in our DNA. We, exactly. we are the children of Abana. Abana yeah. was obedient to a form. So these things be, uh, got imprinted over our DNA because they consented to it. The Bible says that they were consenting to it all the way from Kemet. They were serving these idols and mm -hmm. images. And so they brought it out with them and they continued to, to worship these idols and images. And so we have to shed all of that in order for us to make it because they didn't make it because of the four, the things that they consented to. They consented to Shatani and his kingdom. And so he imprinted an illusion of disobedience over them, over what was written in their DNA. So us in this time, we have to take that seriously because we see it happening again. Yes. And, you know, they keep saying, oh, uh, uh, Isolele is a stiff-necked people. No, mm. we, don't, we don't declare that. We don't speak that. Yes. We don't claim it because that's not us. That's yes. what, yeah. that's, we're not even consenting because if we say, yeah, there, we're a stiff-necked people, we're consenting to it. And so we're not consenting to it. So we're going to, uh, you know, remove all of that all that illusion and that deception that they have tried to imprint over our DNA. And we're gonna claim what, what is really there, which is obedience and power and love and a strong mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's beautiful, Queen. Beautiful. <laughs> um, yes, we have to... Um go back and and look at um first samuel the eighth chapter you know from the fourth to the, the fifth verse whereas though we as a people have always had in our minds to be like everyone else that is around us mm -hmm. and um and, and and in verse four through five it says this. And all the elders of Yisraeli gathered together and came to Sh Sh Shamuel and Ramiel 
together and came oh and said to him look you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways meaning the ways of Titan and Zambi he said now appoint to us a sovereign a king to rule to rule us like all the other okay. nations so yes. so yes tata but tata told them give them what they asked for mm -hmm. now he gave them warning of by you asking for that what is going to come with that what is going to fall what is going to come upon you by asking this request but mm -hmm. they wanted it anyway and that's why when it say that we are hard-headed and stiff-necked people mm -hmm. this is right here is prime example of that but Tata and zombie said give them what they asked for but he also stuck in there a warning telling you what's going to take place and i'm telling you it has taken place and it's even still playing out to this very day mm. uh, so i just wanted to you know um, that came to mind by everybody's um, dialoguing and saying certain things but that what stuck out um, in my mind, um, mm -hmm. pertaining to us, um, Isolele, um, as a people, mm -hmm. that our problem is we want to be like everyone else. Uh, it, it's like, uh, you know, now today with, you know, with the rappers and, and, and with this big houses and money flashing and jewelry and the cars, we got all of that mindset from watching our mm -hmm. of what they had. Yes. But now we are the ones just killing one another over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you, you're going right on into some of the things that we're going to discuss. <laughs> right on point. Well, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Because I know you got more. I know you do. <laughs> In Kosi Kangi, yes, sir. Yes, um, when we look at the history of our people, the, the really sad thing about this whole thing is they began to listen to this wicked spirit. Mm -hmm. And Tatan Zombie gave us everything. We were sitting on the well, mm. sitting on the riches, and yet we wanted to be like the other nations and believe the lie that we didn't have what the other nations had. And in that, the spirit of deception was able to come in and, and they realized, and daily realized, uh, divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. If we can get them to turn against each other, it will mm -hmm. weaken them. And we can come in and begin to take, and then at the same time, we can begin to teach them the mindset that we want them to have that's an inferior mindset exactly you know, that they are, operate on a lower spiritual frequency or vibration and that way they'll lose their power so i just wanted to kind of put that out there they done a, they did a masterful job yes like yeah. here in the americas the willie lynch syndrome yeah. you know, play them against each other yes they did. They did a beautiful job of it. Queen Mama Nicholas. Yes, ma'am. See me. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is listening to your speaking there. It, this um the scripture from Ezekiel just came to me. Because that is why Tatan Zambi will have to do what he said he would in Ezekiel 36. He said, I will take you from among the nations gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land. And then he says, then I will sprinkle clean water on you mm -hmm. and you shall be clean. He, he has to do that. We are not able to do it on our own. He said, I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and that will be all the attitudes, the behaviors, the ideas, mm -hmm. the values, the wrong values, the yeah. and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart 
Yes. Said this was, yes. It was a new heart, so we're not going to continue the wickedness. And I will yes. take the heart of stone out of your um out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. So he's going to set us straight. We are not going to keep on that way forever. He said he's going to give us a new heart. He will put a new spirit within us because having been among, we wanted to be like them. And what we, so he put us among, he let us go among them. And we've been among them for a long time and we absorbed some of the wickedness. But he said he's not going to come take us away from among them. He's going to give us a new heart, put a new spirit within us and cause us to walk according to his ways. And that gives me a lot of hope because he said he's going to do it and we know he's faithful. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to say. Hallelujah. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, did I see somebody else's hand? Okay. <laughs> all right. You know, every everything that everyone has said, you know, uh, it, it ties right in. I mean, this is uh, what I'm talking about. Beautiful conversation, you know, and talk about how we have to uh, drop this mentality, you know. That's the way you can be freed of this mundeliitis, you know, and, and you can, it, it, munzunguitis, you know, it all falls under the same category. It's the same thing. It is a disease mm -hmm. that has been spread in the mindset of Africans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm exactly. speaking as a whole. Now, the way you see me dress and how I've been dressing, I dress like this because I am reconnecting to who I am. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay? Hallelujah. I am reconnecting to my brothers and sisters on the land. I am reconnecting to my righteous Nkulus. Yes. I am reconnecting to Tata Nzambi. This is why you see when zombie Zola dressed this way. Hallelujah. So I am working, I am in the process of being healed and delivered of Mundeliitis. Yes. I understand clearly that my brothers and sisters on the land, on the continent, before they were invaded. They had a way of life. They had a way of thinking. Yes. They served and honored Tata and Zambi. Yes. But when the invasion happened, and we know who invaded, Mundeliitis set in. And it changed the behavior of our brothers and sisters. It changed the mindset of our brothers and sisters. It changed them calling upon the name of Nzambi to calling upon JC. Hmm. <laughs> Instead of saying Nzambi, they said, God. Mm -hmm. hmm. We have to drop their ways. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Just, it's just like the letter that Leopold gave to the missionaries when they came to Angola. They, the letter states that they know who their God is. Uh, but yeah. We got to get them to follow in our ways. And see, that's what it is. It is uh -huh. me in my mindset. We can't make, we can't curse them. But if we get them to curse themselves, no. and that's the yes. problem. We uh, have to yeah. recognize that we, it's us. It's in us that's doing this, that's cursing ourselves. 
because it's just like the same way when they took us into slavery, they brought us over here and they fed us pigs and they knew that we, that uh, what our um, dietary laws and, and things were. So they, mm -hmm. they forced this stuff on us so to for yes. us to defile ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wasn't it mm. wasn't it Balaam who yes. said we cannot curse them? Yes. But we have to get them and to curse themselves. Oh, come on. Yes. The Mundelis yes. took on that same mindset. Same mindset. And you're right, Queen Tamaria. You posted in the chat. Not only is it a curse, but it is also used to control us. That's right. We That's don't need supremacy. anyone controlling us. Because we're children of Tata and Zombie. Yes. This earth was given to us as our dominion. Why are we, uh, why have we allowed someone else to have dominion over us? Oh, uh, 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 amen. Hmm. And look what they have done to our country, stealing our resources, right? And we're sitting on riches and can't even and live it. And look, can't even touch it ourselves. Mm. Look at what they just said with Uganda and Tanzania, where they wanted to deal with one another. I think it was pertaining to energy or something, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the Mandelis are telling them, no, you will not. Exactly. For you to tell our people in our mm -hmm. land yes. how we are to deal with one another. Yeah. How dare mm -hmm. you? Oh. How dare you? And, 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 right. and on top of that, because you don't like it, now you will start a war. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my brothers and sisters, listen. On the continent, I'm speaking to you. If you see us and how we are responding, how we're acting because of what our brother just said about Uganda and Tanzania. Come on, do you see? Can you see? The Mundelis are trying, no, they're they controlling. Yes, yes. It is not their land. No. No. It no, does not, not belong to them. I see your hand, Queen no. McKesey. Let me say this real quick. I shared this with another sister. I said, you had Europeans to leave their country, <laughs> go to a black continent. Come, Come on. on now. Come on. The whole <laughs> continent. Come on. Black Africans. Let me use that. Not black. Let me use Africans. They went to an African continent, to an African country, mm. and they say, we want our area, our own, mm. and not one African is allowed to come in. Mm. Mm. Like, like you uh, want to anyway. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And they well, allowed it to happen. Hey, see, that's my problem. Why have you allowed these people to come onto your land, our land? Yeah. And say they want to establish their community <laughs> and don't <laughs> want us in their community. Which is on our land. Yeah. Land. Doesn't even belong. My brothers and sisters, and sisters we have to rise up. We have to rise up. We have to stand against this. Yes. Yeah. In unity. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ken Swati. Yes. Wake up, people on the continent. Wake up. And this on. is what we're missing. This is what we're missing. Our power lies in Kentwadi. Our power lies in unity. Yes. 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 Queen That's why the enemy wants to continue to separate um, our people, to divide and conquer. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. Queen McKees. Yes, ma'am. Seeing me, seeing me, family. Yes. Um, you know, every everything's being said, it's like a wow, wow. And it's all true. Mm-hmm. What we also have to understand is why did all of this happen? Is it's written. Everything that has happened and has happened to us is written as to why we lost our power, why we lost our strength, why nations were able to overcome us, why the curses overcame us, because we fail to keep our part of the bargain. We fail to keep our part of the covenant, not just a few of us, but Tata Zambi see collectively, no matter where we are, you know, we need to come back into covenant to Tartan Zombie, no matter where we are, on the continent, scattered to the four corners. Yes. Collectively, we have to come back. We can't retain our power and all that belong to us in our own strength. We have to rely on Tartan Zombie because he told us what was going to happen. You know, we just didn't lose everything because, you know, he no longer loved us. But it was a punishment that we went through, a punishment that we had to endure. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and our 400 years, you know, it's over. But we still, we all have to come back into the fold. We have to come back into covenant. We have to come back mm-hmm. and keep Torah like we were told. He didn't give other nations, yes, they're envious of us because we're the ones that have the rules and the guidelines and everything to follow. He didn't give that stuff to the other nations. He gave it to us. Yes. So we needed to be the example. We lost being the example to other nations of people because we failed. Mm-hmm. Just like our, our natural parents, who we fail, continue to fail to do what our natural parents told us to do. Mm-hmm. Get we got we got punished. That's right. You know, we got restrictions. We got we endured discipline. Mm-hmm. So, you know, not I'm not I'm not discrediting everything that was said, but we also have to add that part as to why we lost our power to overcome these other nations. And as we all come back into covenant, into the right relationship, these things will be restored to us. The other nations will see we will stand out. Yes. You know, we can go play me, me and my sisters. We can go places. And we just turn heads, not because of how we're dressed, Mm -hmm. but people know who we are. Once you walk into covenant and once you remain in in Torah and the the covenant and and the right relationship, Mm -hmm. other nations know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They look on us with envy. Like they really want to be us. They know who who we are. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what's going to happen. The more we come into covenant, no matter where we are. Yes. Yeah. Other people will see mm-hmm. your presence just by our presence. They will know. And just by our presence, we will have power to mm-hmm. speak and decree and declare things yeah. to be. You know, if I can say real quick, and I see the other hands here. Uh, la, la, la. You, I'm done. Are, you, you are accurate. Your own point. Your own point. Um and, and I want to say this, this one thing, the church has taught us, wait on God, wait on the Lord. Oh. This is what they say, mm-hmm. right. okay? Let me say this one point. Tata and Zombie, he said that he will bring us back into our land. He said, I will gather you from where I have scattered you amongst the heathen. And I will bring you back into the land that I've chosen. Now, there is something that we must do. It's already been approved by Tata and Zambi. But we have to act. In other words, there are some things we just can't sit back and wait on God to do. Because he's waiting on us to act upon his word that is faith y'all that is faith when you act upon what he said because he said it we believe it and we act upon it 
It's been approved. It's done. Now, am I saying it's time to leave, go home, go back to the land because he said he'll bring? No, I am not saying that. He will speak. He will let you know no. when the time comes. He will speak to us individually. He'll speak to some of us at the same time. He's going to let us know. We do know that. We know that. But coming together, us deciding and saying we need to unite. As Yahya mm -hmm. said, Kentwadi. We must decide we're coming together and we're going to act as one. We are going to return to Tata and Zambi and to what he or ordered us to do as far as walking in his commandments, doing as he said, as our queen said. We must acknowledge it and walk in it. And when we do that, it's already been approved. The two sticks will be one. Mm -hmm. All right. Queen Brenda. And then um, we'll go to yeah. Queen Royal Daughter. I was um, just thinking about, you know, being over there and the, the Blacks outnumber the Whites. And the idea is if they would stop buying from them, they'd shut down in a minute because mm -hmm. everything is done by the, by the Blacks, the Africans, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Everything is done. They build, they clean, they do everything. Yes. And if it was not for them, they wouldn't survive there. Mm -hmm. They would not survive. So I just, in, I envision at some point, they'll just say enough is enough, and then they'll boycott some of that stuff, and it'll shut down like that. Because <laughs> it's their country, they're doing the work, but they are making the money off of, of them. So, the Mundelis. And, you know, and, you and get them off of the land. That right yes, there, yeah, they need to go. Get you them know? back off of the land. That's my prayer. For the land yes. to expel them off of it. Let yes, because you know they don't even farm. Right. The blacks don't even farm. They own all the farmland. See, all yeah, of it. Yeah. And look, and who controls uh. the food rules the world? Who controls the resources, the water, the food rules? Mm. See, th this is what I'm talking about. Queen Royal Boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the most high controls all that. Yes. I'm loving this conversation. I am so loving this conversation. And I want to agree with my sister. She spoke powerfully. And what you said, Yaya Manzambi, uh, he is talking, he said that we would be jealous for the land. And so what we're feeling now is right on par with what he said with the word. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but he, like she said, he's speaking to a people who are coming back into covenant, who are coming back into order. Because yeah. like uh, we spoke with the grafting in, he's talking to a covenant people. If you're not, whether you're the seed of Abraham or you're not the seed of Abraham, if you're not in covenant, he's not talking to you. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Because, mm -hmm. you know, what he is saying is that we will activate our DNA, that DNA of obedience, mm -hmm. that DNA of Abraham. Mm -hmm. We will activate that because that's the only way we come back in order. We will shed all that they have tried to put into us, all that they have tried to beat into us, mm -hmm. all that they have tried to indoctrinate into us. We yes. will shed that. Yes. And so when we come back, into obedience to him back in order we activate that our real dna and these are the people he's talking to these are the people he wants to hear from because that will cause us to be jealous because mm. the people who are not jealous they're all la-di-da they're 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 
they're saying, well, you know, we were we were born to be slaves and they took our land and there's nothing we could do about it. Mm. He's not talking to those people. He's no. talking to the people who want to get back in order, who will reactivate their DNA because yeah. it was that obedience from Abana that activated everything. So once we reactivate our DNA and come back into compliance and come back into obedience, we start feeling that jealousy for our land. We start feeling, and then we will act. Yes. Because when we when we come back, will be moved to act like we're the ones saying well we need this this is ours we we want it back mm -hmm. yeah. the rest of them are just not saying that they're they're just confined to their faith but you know when you start feeling that push that move you will start speaking and you will start acting and that's your dna being activated oh hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes, like Queen McKeesey said. Yes, exactly. Exactly, <laughs> yes, yes. Nkosi <laughs> Kangi. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, and and this goes to our family, our leaders on the continent that are in position. If you would think about the symptom of Mundeliitis, how is it that you allow Mundeli to come on? our father's house and run it. Mm -hmm. And yet when your brothers and sisters want to come home back to our father's house, you require us to pay money to get back in the house. Mm -hmm. It's, it's our right. land too. That makes no sense. And, and apply for citizenship. Yes. And to buy land that belongs to us. We are your Thank brothers you. and your sisters. It makes you're acting like the Mundeli. That's Mundeliitis. <laughs> yep. There you go. Worshiping yeah. Mammon. Go. Yes. Worshiping Mammon. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, Brother Arby. How are you, sir? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm, I'm being blessed by the message right here, especially what Brancosi just said. It really touched my heart. Uh, how, how we close our borders to our own and then to let the Mundeli come through. It hurts so much. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I tell you, we have to, uh, we just, this is the time, my brothers and sisters, this is the time for unity. We have to unite. Look, let us just put this out there. We, a lot of us know this already. It is more of us than it is. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes. Okay. That's just bottom line. Now, am I saying let's destroy them? Let's go and uh, riot? And uh, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm but saying they can is destroy that, each other. Yes, they are. Yeah, we already see that taking place, and I'm not going to elaborate. But we see all that taking place <laughs> right now. <laughs> but. All I am saying is, let us come together. We in the diaspora are not trying to come to take what you have to our brothers and sisters on the land. We're not trying to take what you have. That's already been done by the Mundelis. Absolutely. What we are trying to do is restore to give back to you what they took. Yes. Yeah. Also, for us in the diaspora, take back what they took. Yeah. They're thieves. Absolute okay. thieves. Now, before we came on, I had a conversation with, I call her my queen daughter. Matenda, Ashelini. And she shared something with me. And I would ask if she wouldn't mind, she's a little shy y'all, so we may have to encourage her. <laughs> if she wouldn't mind to share with us what it was, the story that she shared, you know, earlier. 
Sorry, I'll just turn off my video. Okay. Yeah, she's turning um, her, her camera off. That way we can hear her better. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that was happened yesterday. The story that I shared, what happened yesterday, is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so yesterday, it was Friday, um, after four children, so everyone was in the house doing chores, and we have a shop here which attracts a lot of traffic with people are usually just hanging around in our front yard. So I also noticed it could be people that come to the shop that are also just keeping an eye on us in terms of if they can try to steal something from us or I don't know. But one thing that they have noticed is that our day that takes us to go to the backyard, it doesn't really close. So one of the guys that pretended as if he was coming to the shop, he was speaking to one of the ladies and for some reason, he went to the backyard. My room was open because I usually keep it open. No one has ever tried going inside or anything. But for some reason, yesterday, this guy got in the in a property, went into my room, and stole a few things, which was my laptop bag that had my documents and money in and my phone. And my backpack. Mm. Mm. So one of the kids noticed like this guy was in a property, and I think he might have been in your room. So I already started panicking. So I was like, let me go have a look because I know I left my phone on top of my bed. Got in the room, it was true. In the meantime, one of the other kids, she then went after him. Um, I was still in the house trying to figure out what was stolen. So when I found out my laptop bag was gone and my phone and my backpack, I decided to run after the guy. And when I started screaming thief, that's when he started running. Um, so we have a company that's very close by. At that time, it was lunchtime. So a lot of people were outside hanging around. So when they heard me screaming thief, they all tried to sort of like catch the guy so that he could give the things back. But people couldn't really catch him until we crossed the road and I continued screaming, screaming thief. And one of the guys that was coming out of his house, he was driving, he blocked him. And when I pointed thief, he grabbed the guy and then that's when he gave everything. But one thing that I noticed, like the Mundelas that were just standing around, like they just folded their arms, like just looking at the, the scene of what was going on. They didn't try helping or do anything, nothing. So, I mean, it could have been really, tragic day for me because it will be my second time being rough with the game cell phone and money gone. Mm -hmm. But it actually turned out a great day because you know the enemy did not get away with whatever he wanted to get away with. So yeah another sad thing was just like it's people that look like me. Mm -hmm. you know, stealing from each other. And I was like, yes, I'm African, but I'm not from this part of South of Africa. Born in Angola, just raised in, in South Africa. So it's a little different in terms of opportunity for me. I don't have the same opportunities that South Africans have. So it's just like, you, yes, you colored, you would Obviously, white people won't do it, white or whatever. But like, you have more opportunities than me. I already, the bit that I have, you want to come steal from me. So that made me angry. 
it really made me upset. But I didn't want to press charge because we, we have like cameras here. Um, I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I got to see for some reason, um, I really, I know the nature of the Mundele, but yesterday, for some reason, that was a wake up call for me, like to really see the nature of the Mundele. They were just watching me. Some of them were even laughing. They, they didn't bother. Nothing. That's so ugly. And, and again, it shows who they are. They are. And, and this is what I'm talking about. The, the brother <laughs> that took your items, something that you worked for, that was yours, he come in and take it and then try to get away with it. The one thing that I loved was our brothers and sisters, they stepped in. Mm -hmm. And they stopped him. They prevented him from getting away. I shared with her and told her, I said, that is a village. That's who we are. Yes. Okay. Just mm -hmm. look at that scenario. That is who we are. And get that. That's how we're supposed to act. Not the stealing, but preventing the stealer from getting away, the thief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And return, restore our mm -hmm. brother, our sister. Ingeta. That's yes. what we do. But look at what she said the Mundelis did. That was Satan making mockery. That's like them to stand and do nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're supposed to do when they're in trouble. Stand and do nothing. That's right. Just be observers. That's right. Exactly. Uh -huh. oh. Don't get involved. Huh? Uh. This is... But we still have the mindset of some of us, not uh. all of us. Some of us still have the mindset Oh, they gonna love me. Oh, they gonna allow me to fit in. They huh. haven't done it in 400 years and they not, it's not in them. They have no feelings for you. Right. And that mindset that is no deliitis. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of those unlisted symptoms that I had, <laughs> you know, that's no deliitis. When and you think you can live among them and be like them and act like them, that's Mundeliitis. And it's the same mm -hmm. way with voting here in the states. It's the same thing. Yes. The same mindset that yeah. oh, they, they going to change. Oh, they're going to give us. And, and years of steady passing us by and we still saying the same thing that we said same. 50 years ago. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, when will we get it in our mindset? They are who they are. Oh, and they that's right. That. Mm -hmm. right. You're right. It's, it's not going to change. It's not they are change. not going to change. No. But we can. Right. That's the thing. We can change. Hmm. And I'm asking for our brothers and sisters, not only here in the diaspora, but on the continent, change your mindset. Let us yeah. return to Tata and Zombie, as Zombie. Queen Lakisi said, as Queen Royal yeah. Daughter was saying. Let us return to Tata and Zombie, to his Torah, to his word. Renew your Let mind. us walk upright before him hmm. and be restored. And as Yahya said, to be renewed. 
May I say something? Yes, ma'am. This is just like marching, you know, they march. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was going to mention that, yeah. They, march, they still marching. They come together, Black Lives Matter. Don't they know if they come together, we got to come together, it's like he's, like everybody said in the family, you, we got to come together. And this marching, Black Lives Matter, everything that go on, they want to uh, get a poster and march. Mm -hmm. And marching days are over. Yeah. Over. <laughs> uh, over. <laughs> you come together and keep uh, <laughs> Tata and Thomas all statutes and commandments. Yeah. You know, to come back to his and read his word. Yes. And, and, and who was behind the Black Lives Matter? Yes, I, I was funded thinking. Who, who was it that funded the Black Lives Matter? Who yes. was mm -hmm. it that those females got rich? Uh -huh. They got their money, and now you yeah, have nothing don't else have nothing. pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Mm. Because nothing. they didn't got it's their portion. Mm. It's a joke. It really is. And it's our people. It, you might have um, a few uh, heathens in there uh, protesting, and they, 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 they mostly us, you know? Mm -hmm. And it hurts me to my heart. I'm learning this truth as well, you know, and I thank you all that's more knowledgeable than I can, you know, but they need to come together. We got to come to, we got to come together, like you said, unity, you know, but every time something go on, they out there with signs and they protest and they walk in the street, you know, and it's got, they, they got to put the signs down and get them uh, Taurus and come back to Tata Zami's word. Hallelujah. And all that's, this taking you know. place and what's lacking is our spirituality. Mm -hmm. We do everything else, but always lack in that area. Mm. Yes. Uh, Never even mentioned and, it. But that's and the they did such. That's right. That's yeah. right. They, and and what the Mundeli did, they demonized our spirituality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they knew it was powerful. Yes. Mundeliitis. Yes, sir. And then, and then the Mundeliitis will allow you to love the Mundeli so much you want to be with them, yeah. hook up with them. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And they only That's use it you for their protection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're you know. Using <laughs> us for their protection. Uh-huh. You can say that again. Save you can say that again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> brother, brother Harvey says, "Say that again. Say that again. Say it again. <laughs> volume on that. Deep the volume on." You see how deep that is? How 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 they manipulate and and they use us, but really, basically they using our spirituality to cover them. Mm. That's exactly right. You see more of uh, uh. the brothers grabbing hold. To the to the, the these heathens, then I got it. I got it wrong. You see, you see, yeah, you see more of our brothers, mm -hmm. you know, grab a hold to the heathens, mm -hmm. and the the, the, the uh, heathens know what they got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know what they got. Mm -hmm. You know, um, okay, I, I see two hands, uh, Queen Brenda and Queen Royal Daughter. Um, I, I'm gonna say this real quick because I know I'll forget. Brother in Kosikangi said something that made me think uh, about another symptom. And that other symptom, uh, even in line with uh, Yaya, that other symptom is when our brothers and sisters stand in agreement with the Mundeli that is against us. That's another symptom. Oh, yes. They know the Mundeli is getting ready to um, do something against Africans mm -hmm. or against an African. It won't say nothing. And our brother and sister who look like us mm -hmm. will stand in agreement mm -hmm. with that Mundeli. And as Yaya just said, won't open their mouth. All right. Queen Royal Daughter. 
Yes, what I wanted to say was, um, you know, it's not easy to be where we are right now. It took a lot of work. Everybody that's here on this platform knows how hard we have worked even to get where we are, you know? Mm. And so <coughs> our ancestors coming out of Egypt, it, they just had to cry out. And Tatan Zambi did everything else. This time, because sometimes, you know, when the kids get things too easy, they don't appreciate it. Mm -mm. Right. So now we got to earn ours. <laughs> we got to get ourselves there because the last time the mistake was that they did not appreciate mm. what they got. They took it for granted. Everything that they saw, they took it for granted. Mm. So us now, we got to earn ours. Mm. Because then we can appreciate. We can appreciate coming from the bottom, the very bottom. Mm. Come and, on, it. And yeah. literally, what they, what they, what did they tell us? Pull yourself up by the bootstrap. Yes, yeah. They didn't know that they was giving us a blessing. Mm. Mm -hmm. so we're literally pulling ourselves up by the bootstrap. Mm -hmm. We're earning our keep. So now. We, Tatan Zambi says, you're not only the kings, you're priests too. Yes, hallelujah. So now you have not only to pull yourself up, but you got to pray for your brothers. Yeah. Because they're going to be your, 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 the ones that are going to pull you back. Yes. And if you don't pray to break these cycles, to break these spiritual bondages, you will never overcome. Mm -hmm. so now we not only got to pray for ourselves but we got to pray for them because that is where our battle is won when we come against these things that is influencing them to come at us yes that's right Roy Dawn. that's right so <laughs> that's why he gave us tools we have authorities we have the authority he said to bind them mm -hmm. and who you Loose is loose. Who you bind is bound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we have to implement what we have because we see even now as we're praying, as we're pleading, as we're crying out, mm. we see our leaders start starting to speak up. Mm -hmm. We're seeing even the Mundele is speaking, uh, uh, you know, up for us. Did y'all see that? What happened with the Italian president? How she spoke to the French president? No, she, she ripped them open. She said, y'all took advantage of the Africans. She, yo, she ripped that French president open. And she said, all, she was spoke up all the things that he has, they have done to Africa. Mm. Mm. Wow. I so didn't... now, Everybody's starting to find their voice because we started, we, the priests of this generation, have started to pray mm -hmm. and started to come back in order. Yes. And started to activate our DNA. Yeah. Yes. See, when, um, when uh, Tatan Zambi, when uh, Ephraim and Manessa, Jacob, he, he pulled them aside and he blessed them like his children. They were a foreign mothers. Mm -hmm. And that's who we are. Some of us, you know, were mixed. They were mixed too. And so he set that precedent with Ephraim and Manasseh. And that was all about us. Mm -hmm. Because Joseph was sold into slavery just like us. He didn't have a choice. He married where he was and he had his children where he was. So Jacob accepted them because he didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have a, we didn't have a choice either. Right. We are where we are and we are who we are. And so we married among our, our pool. Mm -hmm. So it kind of forced Tatanzambi's hand because now he got to accept 
uh, all kinds of different nations mixed with his DNA. But his DNA is the is the marker. He will recognize his DNA. So there, there are plenty of people he's had to accept because they have his DNA. And that's what the cleansing of the blood is. Yes. Yes. So, you know, as, as the priest, <laughs> such a huge responsibility because we got to pray our way through this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And as we pray, it will infect others. Because as we pray, we will break bondages in others. So that's why it's so important being king and priest. That's just like um, mm -hmm. what your daughter just said, and it brought my mind back to Ezekiel 37. When he asked, when Tata told Ezekiel, speak, prophesy. Mm -hmm. That's what we ought to be doing in this hour. There you it's go. us that has to speak the word. It's us that has to prophesy. It is us to have to declare and declare. Come on, come on, come on. First and foremost, uh -huh. no one else, no other nation can open their mouth until we open ours first. Mm. Hey. <laughs> no one. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Come on, Elder. Come on. He holds the king. Absolutely. Come on. To the kingdom. E. And it's not until we prophesy, it's not until we declare and decree in this land, uh. on this earth. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> there you go. What did he give us dominion over? Come on. Earth. Come on. <laughs> we better open up our mouths and speak and prophesy. And everybody else will follow suit behind oh. us. I tell you, y'all ought to be praising right now. I'm telling you, because what he said is what we need to be doing. That's right. And yet, uh... Let us remember, Tata and Zombie said, ye are gods. Come on. Yes. And then Josiah turned around and said, is it not written hmm. that ye are gods? gods? We are Elohim. Tata and Zombie is Elimo. Hmm. We are Elohim. So if he said that we are Elohim, that means we can speak, decree, and declare. Yes. And what we say will go into motion. Yes. Hallelujah. This is why he said, I sent my word out and it shall accomplish what that, I, what I sent it out to do. <laughs> it will not return unto me void. We have that yeah. same power and authority. Let us take back our dominion. This is our kingdom. Why did we give it to somebody else? Take it back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. Get, uh, That's get, the word. Get. Yes. Mm. I remember, he said, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So open your mouth, Bananzan. Ishaaba. Mm -hmm. Remember Isaiah? Now we talk about Isaiah is the original gangster, man. Isaiah was trapped <laughs> hell, and Isaiah freed the spirits that were trapped in hell. Come on now. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Isaiah is the OG. Yes, he is. Oh, he yeah. Man. The camp of the enemy. And yeah. he preached the spirits trapped in hell, in prison, that Shatani had in prison, and Shatani couldn't do a thing. Mm -mm. Could not do a thing. <laughs> so we got Amen. to bring that up in us. Yes. Because all power and authority 
has been given. So we got to speak the word, like the brother said. We got to speak the word. We got to declare it. And we will see change breaking. We will see our presidents and prime ministers starting to speak up. We will see freedom happening. Yes. We have the, we have to, he said, if whatever you lose on earth mm -hmm. shall be loosed in heaven. So mm -hmm. we have to loose our brother and bind those principalities and powers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're, we're starting to see the, as, as Royal Queen Daughter would say, we're starting to power up. An example is, uh, in my neighborhood, the Mundeli have this big, bad German shepherd that wants to bark and growl and, you know, try to bully himself around the neighborhood. So they were walking him and he was on the leash pulling. I just simply walked outside and he saw me and he started cowering behind his master. <laughs> He's like, oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? So even the animal knew. Yeah. That I have dominion over him. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I tell you, this is our kingdom. Brothers and sisters, this is our kingdom. So we have to speak. We have to open our mouths. Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful. Open your mouth and watch it take place. So this community, this European community in our land, speak against them that they must go. They will go. And they'll go back home. When we were, us here in the United States, some of you may know this. We have been told, go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot of people have, have said that yeah. mm -hmm. the Mundelis go back to Africa yep. go back home go back where you come from first of all we they didn't ask to come we mm. didn't ask to come here <laughs> right exactly <laughs> and trust me we do want to go back home and we will right. go back home and we will and you really don't want yes, us to we leave will. if you knew if you knew what was good for you. No, you don't. <laughs> That's why they're trying to keep us. <laughs> That's why they're trying to keep us here. Why you right, think Trump right. wanted to build a wall? Come on. Right. <laughs> when we when we leave, the hammer's dropping down on you. Yes. And, and the hammer is dropping oh, anyway. Yeah. It's dropping now. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, it's starting to drop now, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so let us band together and tell the, those Mundelis in that community in South Africa, I believe is where they are. Tell them, mm. go back to your lane. You're not welcome that, here. That's right. That, that's right. Right. You know, they don't want the Africans in their community, but I can pretty much guarantee you that they let them come in to clean their house. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. They let them come yeah, in and cook. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And the one, the one leader that I stand by in the comp <laughs> is Julius Malema. Yeah. If we could get more leaders to speak, speak up. Like, like him. him. Julius yeah. Malema. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. I concur. Yes. yes. That's what we need. Hmm. That's what we need. More Julius Malemus in yep. Africa. Yes. That's what we need. Yeah. Hmm. Don't be afraid to open your mouth. Don't be afraid. The Mundelis are there literally destroying they're destroying everything. As what they always have done. Thank you. That's life. Strong. 
Mm-hmm. Just, they've yeah, you're right. Been on Earth. That's what they've done. Still, yes, yeah, sure. You're right. And it, it, and think. Of, go ahead, yeah, yeah. I, I I'll quickly say, if I could ask anybody one question, pretty much they all would give the same answers. What do the Mundelis do? Steal at best, lie, cheat. Steal, kill, destroy, kill, steal, and destroy. <laughs> Just like their father. <laughs> exactly. Wash your time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's their nature. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's just, their nature. And just like Royal Daughter said earlier, in, in, in Matthews 11 and 12 comes to mind as well. And it said, The kingdom of heaven suffer violence, and the violence taken, taken it by force. Mm-hmm. That's what we must do. Fight in the spirit and take it back by force in the spirit. It's not a a physical, it it will turn into a physical, but it all starts in the spiritual before it manifests itself in the physical. So if we continue to to do this and speak in the spiritual and let it manifest, if it comes to that manifesting in the physical, that's what we all do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also to our brothers and sisters on the continent and the leaders, and you understand this better than, than we do in the diaspora. Now is the time that our righteous and cool are back with you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now's the time to do this. Yes. You know, I, I was just responding to uh, to Queen Nidra Yah. She said, but we can also, or we can raise, forgive me, I don't have my glasses on, y'all, but we can raise and nurse their children. Yeah. Right. Isn't that something? They, this is something I just never understood. I never got this one. Right. Never. They, the two moon delis, come together, they have a baby. Mm-hmm. And they give it to our queens <laughs> to nurse on the breast yep. of our mm. queens. Yep. They know who we are. Ah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> what a she was. <laughs> she lurking around here. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then teaching them moral values. Uh-huh. But they still don't want to be bothered with us. They don't like us. Exactly. Makes no sense. None. <laughs> they they want what we have, you all. They they know who we are and they know. I'm sorry, Sienna. Everybody, good to see everybody that's on here today. Hope everybody is doing doing well today. I was at my son's game today, and then I ran to Aaron. So twenty to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, In favor wow. of our son. Yes, yes. they're they're wow. taking. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so um. That was one thing the most I told me when I awakened. And that's one thing I can stand on because nobody told me who I was besides the most high because I was crying out to him some years ago asking that. And I, I shared this with, with you all before. Mm-hmm. Who, who, um, <laughs> why were we hated? Why were, why were people, yes, of color, you know, hated all over the globe? Uh, that's when that there was a lot of shooting going on. It was years ago. Mm-hmm. And I cried for like a week off and on. Nobody mm-hmm. knew it. I would go into my bathroom and just cry, cry. Why? I said, why are we hated? Why do they hate us? What have we done? I said, we have not done anything to them. I said, not just us over in America, the African-Americans. I said, but even Australia at that time, they were killing the aboriginals over there. So I said, what have we done to be so hated? And I heard something say, it's because of who you are. 
And I said, who I am? Mm. So it's not because of your color. It's because of who you are. Now, all of us, not just mm -hmm. the Bantus, because, you know, when you look at the grand scheme of things, <laughs> we're all related, coming from brothers, too, yes. cousins, distant yes. cousins. So it has to do with who we are. You know, the melanated people are the first creation. That's us, the melanated people. When you begin mm -hmm. to research about melanin and understand the power that's behind melanin, then you will understand mm -hmm. that the hate is because they can't have what we have. They want it and they're going through extreme measures to try to get it. Extreme measures mm -hmm. to be who we are, but they can never be who we are. Never. They are trying to figure Never. out why is it that we still have persevered and out of all of the atrocities right. that we have experienced. You know, when you look at, mm -hmm. let's just talk about in America, not our family on the continent for a while because we all went through, but let's just look at America because I know more about America and what they did to us over here. Although I have learned and am learning what they have done to our family on the continent as well. So let's just go back to when they uh, supposedly freed our ancestors, which was just only in the southern states, not the northern states. Let us remember that because uh, they wanted to crush the south that was trying to cede from the union. They suppose I gave our ancestors uh, 30 acres and a mule, which they never got. The president that got in office after Lincoln, he turned around and gave that money to the enslavers. So you think about our ancestors, they left, they had nothing. Remember, they weren't from here. So when they told them, you're free, you can go do whatever you want to. I want our family on the continent to know that our ancestors rose up from nothing over here. Nothing. So when you see us over here, because I know how some of our family on the continent try to view us mm -hmm. <laughs> as bank accounts, some of them. Yeah. Our ancestors rose up. It's because of that fierceness that are that is within our DNA. And they have it too because they're, they're, some of your ancestors yes. over there, they came from the continent. Yeah. So they had nothing. They had no house. They had no food. They had nothing. They did not even want to pay them for the job because they said, why would I want to pay them when they work for me free? So our ancestors had to build up from ground zero. Out of the dust we rose, mm -hmm. and here we are today, the descendants of those people. Yes. yes. And guess what? Because we did that over here, when we go home, the same thing is going to happen mm -hmm. because of who we are. Mm -hmm. They left Africa out of the Industrial Revolution. They were not, and quote unquote, is considered a third world country. Mm -hmm. We know who built America. It was off the backs of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Their DNA is within uh, us. We mm -hmm. are our ancestors. Yes. When you go back and research that, we are our ancestors. And, and Brother Randall, I, I got your question. And this is part of your answer to that. That is why we feel the hurt the sadness, all the emotions when we see these pictures about slavery and what happened to our ancestors because it's within our DNA. Mm -hmm. So your mother was not the only one that experienced those things. I myself have issues with the bridges. So it's something within our DNA because we are our ancestors. The DNA came from our ancestors. So we have their pain, their trauma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we must understand that. So we have to heal from that. We have been through so much. We have been broken down. Our culture has been taken away from us. We are not who we are. That's why we can't love each other as we're supposed to love one another. That's why we don't have that community sense anymore amongst us anymore. They have broken us down to nothing. And so we need to start asking the most high to heal me, mm -hmm. heal me, yes. heal my yes. DNA. This is what yes. I tell him. Yes. Heal me from the hurt, the trauma, the pain, yes. 
because if we're real with ourselves, it is impacting us today. It is affecting us today with our behavior in everything. We have not Absolutely. received any psychological counseling and they trying to figure out how no, is it that these group it. of people <laughs> still are here today, thriving, yeah. surviving, successful, when their mm. ancestors over here in America had nothing, mm. nothing but the clothes on their back, yes. the little bit that they had. <laughs> and they had to come up from nothing and still mm. we rose. Right. This is where we can't come from, people. Yes. <laughs> we don't have to hold our head down. We don't have to be ashamed because we come from greatness. Only yeah. people that have greatness within them will be able to rise from nothing and yeah. look at us, their children today. The children today, look at us. Yes. Look at what we have achieved. We're still alive. Yes, we are. Surviving. Yes. Thriving. Yes. Successful. Yes. yes. Granted, as a whole, I know we still have a long way to go, but when you look at where we came, just look at where your ancestors were, what they had, and look at us today. We have a lot to be thankful for for our ancestors because they were some strong people. Yes, they were. Yes. They did not give up. Mm. So don't you dare give up in this fight. That's right. Mm -mm. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That DNA is in you. Yes. That same DNA is in you. Yes. Hallelujah. We are not quitters. No, we're we not. We have not lost. Thank you for that word, Queen. Thank Hallelujah. you for that word. Thank you. We're overcomers. Yes. We're more than that conquerors. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Queen, royal daughter. Yes, ma'am. Powerful, baby. Powerful. Powerful, Mama Brenda. Powerful. <laughs> the you know, I'm a little I'm just let him use me. Because when Tatan Zambi, when Yakobi, our father, got tested, this is a period that Tatan Zambi had in mind. Nobody expected Yakobi to hold on to fight all night because he was a like what we call a pencil pusher. He wasn't a field man. He wasn't a warrior. Mm -hmm. He was a soft man. Nobody expected him to fight all night, to hold on. But you know what 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 had your Kobe to fight? What brought up that that fearlessness in him? He had his family close by. Mm -hmm. And so he was determined to fight or die. And so Tatan Zombie knew that he wanted a DNA that could fight and hold on because he knew the things that we would endure in this day, our ancestors. So that is why he tested Yakubi to see. So when the, when the book talks about he who endures till the end, it's talking about our, our father, Jacobi. So that's in our DNA. And that's why he gave him his name. He put his name on him because he is he who endures till the end. And it was us in mind, with us in mind, because he knew the things we would endure and have to come back from. So now in Revelation, it talks about those that have the witness and the testimony. See, that they can't take away from us because it's in our DNA, the witness yes. and the testimony. Yes. And we carry his name because we are the overcomers. We are the ones who endure to the end. And, you know, so we can't let them tell us who we are. Right. They told us we were lazy. They told us we were everything that we are not. We, we know who we are. We mm -hmm. are children of Abana. We are children of Yakubi. And what they have in, our, in their DNA, that's what we have in our DNA. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, 
as we have the witness and the testimony, they know it. And that's why they don't like us. That's why they try to kill us. But you cannot kill DNA. No, you can't. <laughs> no matter where it has to go to survive, our DNA has survived. You can't kill a god and a goddess. As we say over here in America to all our brothers and sisters that are on here and that, that are listening on the continent as well, we have a saying over here in America, we don't die, we multiply. Mm. Yes, we do. We multiply. <laughs> Y'all know what that means. Yeah, yeah. we do. Uh, Amen. Get the kill us and we come back. We come back. Yes. Stronger. Yes. Yes. That was why I, I discovered, <laughs> that was why our ancestors, I was reading an article about our ancestors when they had them enslaved on the plantation in America and in the uh, Caribbean island. And they didn't fear death as, as they have a lot of us fearing death today. They didn't fear death because, because they knew, because they still had their culture and they knew they understood, they had their spirituality that they held on to, not this watered down stuff that we have today. They knew that if you die, if I die, you kill me, guess what? I'm coming back. That was their mentality. So uh -huh. they didn't fear death. And they couldn't understand why these people <laughs> would be, <laughs> that were, were able to face death the way they were able to face death. Right. And when I saw that and I got to thinking and realizing about our spirituality, because in Christianity, the way it's set up, it, it does cause one to, to fear death. Yeah. It does, it does yeah, lead it does. to that. Yes. Yeah. Scared you're going to die and go to hell. Exactly. Uh -huh. Right. But, but you see, fear is such a low vibration. And that's yeah. what I'd be trying to tell people. That's why they were trying to inflict fear during this during this last pandemic because fear would decrease your immune system. Fear is a fear is a very yeah. low frequency. We cannot the most I cannot operate nor be present in these low frequencies. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. have to elevate ourselves as we elevate because he's the yeah. most what high. Yeah. So as we begin to yeah. elevate on higher frequency, that takes us closer and closer and closer Come and on. closer. Yeah. To yeah. our father, our Baba, our Tata, our uh, creator, yes. the sovereign in send me. It takes us closer and closer. But if you're down here on the bottom operating in hate, confusion, Come Come deceit, on. fear, mm -hmm. these are low vibrations way at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're not able to reach the most high on these vibrations. So we must rise. Uh, yes. Yes. Operating. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just gonna say operating in Mundeliitis. <laughs> yep, go ahead. I'm sorry, baby. That was it. I was just gonna say we we have to rise, yes. come higher, yes, and yes. put aside these things. You know how? Yes. Well, how, Sister Brenda? Can I put these things aside? Fear and all these things. You have to trust the Most High, and then you have to pray and ask Him to remove these negative things from you. You have to meditate. Mm -hmm. Meditate yes, on his yes, word. Yes. Yes. Take time away from the social media. My time is early morning. Go meditate. Talk to him. We have to. We have to. And some more I can tell you off here. I'm not going to say because he's still recording, but off. Off the recording, I can tell you more things that you can do to help you elevate that they did not tell us about in mm -hmm. Christianity that will help us to elevate ourselves, to be closer to the Most High and our righteous and kulus of the light. You know, I sure want to hear that. <laughs> when you think about fear, the scripture says that Tata and Zombie did not give us the spirit of fear. It's a spirit. But he gave us <laughs> love power and a mm -hmm. sound mind those last three things is what he gave us not fear so where does fear come from it okay. comes from mundelis it comes from the the uh, uh okay the uh, <laughs> these evil spirits uh-huh inflicting, yeah, inflicting mm -hmm. the fear upon you yes so 
this also is, is what allowed us to accept this disease, Mundeliitis. <laughs> Mm. Mm. we have received mundeliitis because of fear you, you know let me ask us this question pose this question it's a rhetorical question you know but if you want to answer it you can answer it. if you know that your father was the king and he owed, he owned everything and whatever he spoke in manifest and that he loved you so much that he will not allow anything to happen to you that will crush you and destroy you. And that though you may think that the things that come upon you will do that, but it's really to, to build you up because he's not going to allow anything to kill his child. Would you fear? Would you have a reason to fear? No. That's who your father is. Hallelujah. That's who your father, he owns the world. He holds the world up in his head by his word, his vibration. Yes. The world, the galaxy is being held up just by his word. That's, that's frequency. That's vibration. So when you begin to understand the importance, remember I gave you all that teaching on, um, words than the power of words mm -hmm. that's why the bible says the power is in the tongue it's what you speak yeah speak. because yeah. of who we are and who we come from mm -hmm. see it says that in the beginning was the word yes and the word was god was with. so he spoke and there was so mm -hmm. when you speak there is Exactly. 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 <laughs> so when he when when our, our brother said, I am the way, I am the light, I am the truth, he was decreeing it. He was speaking Ooh. it. So then you can say and when you uh, meditate, I, I am, am. <laughs> I the am. way. I am the light of the world. Uh, come on, y'all. The salt <laughs> of the earth. I am a hey. god. I am a uh, goddess. I am the scene of righteousness. I am hey. and zombie. I am. Yes. You're speaking it. You're declaring yes. it. As she said, Tata and Zombie gave this to us. This is our kingdom. This belongs to me. Take it back. Oh, my goodness. Queen Royal Daughter. Hey. You know, somebody asked me this, this week, what authority does Shatani have? None. The simple answer was the authority you give him. Exactly. There you go. There you That's go. it. Say that again. Yes. <laughs> You're the ruler. You're the king. Hey. So it's whatever you give him. Mm -hmm. That's what you got. So it's up to you, really. That's all I wanted to say. Yes. yes. You're right. You know, my our son, our youngest son, he, he's been driving now on his own, what, by, about a month or so, something like that. He's driving my vehicle back and forth to, to school. Almost two months. Okay? Almost two months. Okay? My vehicle. Right? But he's been driving it now more than I have. I have not given it to him. But <laughs> you would think it's his. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but because it's mine and he's my son, <laughs> guess what? Is he is too. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Queen Royal Daughter. That now oh, that, that was a mouthful right there, you all. Didn't he say the cattle um, on the hill is mine? Yes. 
<laughs> Everything in the world belongs to him, does it not? Yes, it so does. We don't know who we are. We don't know our rights. We don't know what belongs to us. We don't know what's our inheritance. But as we begin to awaken and understand truly who we are, then, <laughs> then you can decree and declare that these things that they stole from you, us, while we are asleep, were asleep, uh, bye, 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 bye. decree it back. So, Call it back. Call it Remember back. I told you all way back here, what, about three, yeah. four months ago, maybe? Mm. Call it back. Call it back. Everything that they took from you, call it back. Yes. Your divine rights, your divine inheritance, your culture, your language, your land. Guess what? We have land over there that we, because we came from a tribe, a clan, a people that had land that you were that? that were that was innate right. That land is ours by right, by divine right, by divine inheritance. My brothers and sisters on the continent, do you hear that? We came from tribes, clans, the same as you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you read the Bible, all through the Bible, when Tatan Zambi speaks, he said, thus said Tatan Zambi. Yes. Yeah. The king has spoken. So that's what we have to say too. Like Mama Brenda said, we have to say the king has spoken. <laughs> the king's word is final. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the authority we have to speak in. Because yes. our father, the king of kings, has given us that authority here. So we have to say like our father, the king has spoken. Yes. yes. Nobody else can say anything after that. Nobody. So once it's decreed, it's yes. decreed. So when you look at kingdoms, a king decree a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So remember I told you we decree? Mm -hmm. That's because we're kings and queens. Kings, kings decree things. Mm -hmm. And as you stated, when it's decreed, that signet is placed on it. Mm -hmm. That means it is so. Mm -hmm. So when you decree a thing, it is in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say, may my word, and I got this because Man Zombie, when he was there, uh, used to preach in Christianity, he always used to say, may these words I speak accomplish that which I have set it out and sent it out to do and not return unto me void. So when I speak a thing, when I send a petition, not pray, prayer is begging. We don't beg, we decree. Remember, you're kings and queens. So you don't pray. Look up the word pray. It is an Indo-European word <laughs> that means to beg. Mundeliitis. So if he's our father, why do we have to beg for anything? <laughs> right. Your child don't have your children don't beg you for nothing. No, they don't. And you supply everything that they need. You meet their needs. Now, their wants, that's a different thing. You may give it to, a, to them. You may not or whatever. But everything that they need is supplied, mm -hmm. right? So we don't pray. Back to that. We do not pray. We send up petitions or we decree a thing. That is why he was able to, um, Joshua, I do believe it was Joshua. Joshua was able to look at the son. He didn't pray, say, oh, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I ask you, oh, I'm I'm bleeding the blood. Oh, and I'm saying to the sun, oh, ah, yeah, stop right now. No, he spoke it. He spoke it. He commanded. He spoke to that son and says, son, Stand they obey us. Dude. The sun. The moon, Brother Arvi, am I correct? They obey us. Absolutely, Queen, absolutely. They obey us. So you all need to understand who you are, the power that you have. Hallelujah. Oh, I can't. they want us like to mom. forget who we are and the power that we possess. Yeah. We have been reduced 
to something, to somebody that we are not. Hmm. It is time for us to rise up to the occasion to restore order. There's no justice in this world right now because you know what? The kings and queens that were put here to rule and reign are not ruling and reigning because we're to rule and reign like our father. So we're to judge in righteousness, not show favor, but to judge in righteousness. Yes. But because we are not in that position right now, out of order, there's chaos in the world. Because chaotic people are now ruling the world. And it's time. This is our time. This is our time. I see somebody new on here. Is that new? Are they new? Yeah. And of course, see Allison. Yeah. Welcome. See Amy. <laughs> Campbell, Campbell. I'm not new. I'm not new. I've been around for years. Thank you. Uh, I've been getting blessed. Got them Zambi lately. Uh, he's been increasing my finances, so I've been working a lot. Uh, you know, praise Tatan Zambi, Mapungu Tulendo. Something that um, came to my my mind and my spirit, and what came to me was they could not steal your godship but all they could do was put you to sleep to it in other words we didn't know that we were Elimo or Elohim we read it in, in the scripture but we didn't pay any attention to it because we were taught that we will get our reward in heaven. All we have to do is be good stewards here on earth. Whatever we're asked to do, we do that. We pray for our enemies. We love our enemies. We bless our enemies and we do good, do right. Mm. In other words, Shut your mouth, do what you told, and you'll get your reward when you get to heaven, when you die. They did the opposite. Mm -hmm. They did the opposite yes. of what they were, you know, put in there. They they wanted us to believe that we had to suffer mm -hmm. in order to reign. Exactly. And they and it's mm -hmm. in there that we had to live a defeated life mm -hmm. in order to be victorious mm -hmm. in another realm. But you can have that here. But yet they did all this hell here on earth that they did. Mm -hmm. Everywhere where they went, they literally killed off the people, the Taino Indians and the Native Americans over here. They practically killed the people off mm -hmm. when they came around to the different places with the diseases that they brought. And this is documented. And not only with the diseases, but with the sword that they brought, the guns that they brought. Mm -hmm. But yet they wanted to have a Bible in the hand and try to convert people that they said and they claimed were pagan, heathen. Mm -hmm. And tell them to love. How can you tell somebody to love when you're killing somebody? Exactly. They did the total opposite of what they call themselves teaching. Mm -hmm. How can you teach somebody something and you're not even living up, upholding what you think? They didn't uphold nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They did the total opposite. So they got away, literally, with murder. They so, got away no, with No, they it. didn't. They, thought, they think they did. Okay. They didn't get away with no murder. Well... <laughs> No. You know, they 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 got a lot of us still believing I'll get my reward when I go to heaven. When I die, I'm going to heaven, you know, and we're going to be in heaven. OK, this is what they have. A lot of us believing. they did not steal. They may have stolen everything else from us, but they did not steal who we are. They did not steal our Elohim. So That's who we are. They just put us asleep to it. But we're awakening back to knowing we are Elohim. Go ahead. 
So I was just going to say that in the very book that, that is referred to as the Bible, it says that he created man and placed man here to have dominion to rule here on earth. Did he not? Mm -hmm. yes. So why would they even, they teach, even what they teach is opposite. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to have dominion over here, but yet they're telling us something totally opposite is what they brought. They just brought us so many lies. Mm -hmm. So many lies. This this here belongs to us. We have dominion. We rule. We reign. We have the authority. But yet they're saying, you know, something. They did that to subjugate us. We know why they did it. To subjugate us. Subjugate our mind, our spirit, you know, our entirety so that they can rule over us. Because when you look at history, those that have studied history, you'll see that the melanated man ruled earth for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Mm -hmm. But they're saying to say that they have only been around six to 10,000 years. So even though they have been reigning for what about, what the last three, 4,000 years, that's nothing compared to us. Mm -hmm. We've been here since the, the beginning of time, ruling and reigning. Yep. It's time to return. Oh, yeah. Queen royal daughter, yes, ma'am. You know, Isaiah called them out. He, he, he clearly told us who's who. He said, since the days of uh, John, the kingdom of the Tanzan be suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Mm -hmm. So there's a kingdom and a violent. And he identified them. How do you know the violent? Because they take by force. Mm -hmm. And so you can't be the, I, the kingdom and the violent. So he has shown us who they are just by identifying what they do. They take by force. And that's it. Yes. That's who they are. Yes, they do. Yes. Is that a is that a a, a fall behind you? A farm? No, that's my backyard. A fall. A fa waterfall. Oh, that's the sky. A, that's, oh, what is that coming down? That's, that's the sky. Huh? That's the sky. <laughs> right here. Oh, that's probably something on, you know. Uh -oh. Maybe it's she's talking about the metal. Yeah. Oh, I oh those poles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice view, though. Yeah. It's My nice view. It's beautiful. Yeah. The sky is so beautiful. I'm sorry, I got on track, but this guy is beautiful <laughs> over there. Today, <laughs> short sleeves on too. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. It's hot, so that's why I I said let me sit outside because it's so hot. Oh man, see, I, I need to be. There. I would love that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you know. Um, but but quickly, uh, I wanted to bounce off something earlier, much earlier, that uh, Nkosi Kangi had said, and someone else had mentioned too. Um, here in the United States, they show us, uh, they give us a perspective of Africa. And what they show us is uh, it will make any of us say, we don't want to go to Africa. You know, they, they show, mm -hmm. uh, they give documentaries of uh, skinny uh, Europeans, you know, uh, not Europeans, I'm sorry, Ethiopians that have uh, not eaten, you know, in days and they're dying, you know, um, and flies on their noses, faces, and everything, and uh, the mothers holding the baby, they show us this poor uh, picture. So they're painting. This is another one of their lies, okay? They paint a terrible picture to us. They show us that they're living in huts or uh, mud houses, and they have... Uh, uh, some kind of material as a door. Um, you know, there is sleeping on the ground, you know, inside the hut or mud house. You know, they, they show us all these negative pictures. 
and movies and uh, documentaries. So I recently had mentioned to someone about going to Africa. And one of the things out of their mouth was, mm -mm, no, I ain't nothing in Africa for me. <laughs> They ain't got nothing, people running around with bones in their noses and, and holding spears. Uh-uh, I, I ain't going there. You know, mm -hmm. what they, they, they living in huts, you know, and, and no, that, that place ain't for me. <laughs> That's what they gave us. That's what they wanted us to have in our minds to make us think where we come from is no place like where we are. Now, to our brothers and sisters on the continent, they show the bling bling, as they call it, the fame that some of us have over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They show the lifestyle, driving nice cars, big mansions and nice houses and, you know, uh, got all the money. This is what they put in your mind. So that when you see us come onto the continent, the first thing you think is, y'all got money. And I need to get some of that money. So I'm going to do what I can to get some of that money from you. Let me tell you, not all of us are living like that. Right. Hmm. Amen. We are not. Get yeah. We don't have it like that. No, we don't. They, hmm. I hate to say this, but they need to understand. Yeah. They're holding us back like they're holding you back. We have to, if, if in order to have that lifestyle, we have to take on that disease of Mundeliitis. We have to sell out. There you go. We have to deny who we are and take on a lifestyle that is not us. Absolutely. And some of them have sold, they sold to the devil for the yep. fame and fortune. Yeah. You look at a lot of our uh, movie stars and rappers and singers, a lot of them sold, mm -hmm. they sold to the devil right. for that fortune and fame. Yes. But there's a price to pay in the end. Yes, it is. Because a there's a blood price. sacrifice that must come to pass, be it you or someone that you love that's close to you. So mm -hmm. it's not all glitz and glamour no. as they want to portray it to be. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Absolutely isn't. This is why that, you know, like you said, um, men, men, um, Manzambi Zola, I believe I can pronounce that right. I don't know, but uh, please forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong, incorrect. Yeah. Uh, you, they, like you said, they showed this on TV. And back in the day, you know, when I was a youngster in my earlier years, you know, that's what you, that's they portray that, you know, and like you said, it's not like that, you know, and this is why the heathens don't want us to leave this country where we have been scattered to, mm -hmm. to live here and go back. Like somebody said in the, in the chat, in this class, I think somebody else said that we leave here, they we, they won't be able to make it. Mm -hmm. They might shut the doors right now. Mm -hmm. Like some of us shut the storefronts right now. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. they, like you said, you know, and, and we leave all, the, all of us get up and leave now, they won't be able to make it. They won't be able to make it. No, Same they're... on the continent. They wouldn't be able to make it without the um the indigenous people there. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. 
That's right. That's exactly yeah. right. No. But see, we're not going to leave our continent. They are. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely. They're the ones that are going to leave it. Get the Take them apart. Now. Yes. But see, we had open, and, and it's, it's our nature. We had opened our, our hearts to them in friendship. But you know, we we meant meant good from the heart, but they had a deceitful way about them mm -hmm. to take what we had and to treat us any um, to treat us any kind of way um, to the point where um, that we are nothing. Yes, and you know, and it's and it's sad that. You know, it's not sad because that's our nature to help one another. If we see someone in need, that's what we do. We help. But there's some who want, is willing to take advantage of that for their own yes. pain and selfish reasons. Yes, you're right. And right, that's our name. And, mm -hmm. and also talking about taking on the ways of Mundeli. Mundeliitis, we have people that look like us that have picked up on the, and operating in their wicked spirituality. Mm -hmm. Judas. <laughs> yes. Queen royal daughter. See, uh, can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, this is all about us giving up our inheritance because that's what they really want. Mm -hmm. But they can't take it without our consent. Right. Exactly. Exactly. To deny ourselves and our father. So when we deny our father, we disinherit ourselves. So if they can't get it, they, they're saying, well, you won't get it either. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So all they want is our land and our resources. But they want us to give consent so that we give it up so that they can take it. Yes. And now, yes. excuse me, and now you see, they see that their power is, is slipping away from them. And their mindset is, I will destroy this world before I allow them to take control. Allow us to can't take control over it. That's the mindset that they always had. If we can't run it and rule it, we we'll destroy everything in it. Mm -hmm. oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know that that's a good one right there. <laughs> if I can't have it, neither can you. I will, nobody. I will <laughs> destroy it. Nobody. None of us to have it. I'll destroy it first. Yes. And I and, and I believe they will not hesitate to, to use their own nuclear weapons to blow it up. Yes, they, they will. They, they won't. won't. They won't. Well, that's what kind of people they are. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're right. You're right, Queen Mama Nicholas. She said they did the same when mm -hmm. they left the continent, destroyed the infrastructure. Wow. Yes. That's what they do. That's their nature. Mm -hmm. Our nature is to love, open arms, yes. friendly. That's who we are. Right. Remember, we're yeah. created in his image. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then we have <laughs> these people. I thought to say mutants. <laughs> say it. <laughs> well, these creatures. Yes. Since yes. you're still recording, we can't say exactly what we want to say. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so go ahead. You know, and their nature is destructive. Yes. You know, if they destroy everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Relationships. It mm -hmm. don't matter. Yeah. That's everything all they, they touch. What's that? Everything they touch, they destroy. Yes. Yes. So we're just wanting to point out to our brothers and sisters about their ways, their nature. And we have to drop those ways. We have to drop that mentality. We have to. And 
our queen, Queen Ngong, she said, she did a video not long ago. Basically, we have to call out those yep, among who us. are doing, uh, working against us. I'll yep. put it that way. Yep. Now, you remember last Samba, I said enemies within the camp. Mm -hmm. It's those who look like us. Yes. But yeah. they're not for us. Right. We have to call them out. Mm -hmm. And I told the queen this. I said, here's the thing. If we call these people out, the ones who want to think like those people will reconsider. The ones who want to come against us will reconsider. Because they will see we will call you out. Not only will we call you out, but we will deal with you. Hmm. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? Absolutely. I heard it. I didn't bite my tongue. Yeah. Not only will we call you out, but we will deal with you. Yes, sir. Because our lives depend upon it. Boom. Yeah. Boom. To a detriment to our lives. Boom. You keep blowing up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have to let our enemies know that we mean business and we're not playing. Set a couple examples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do that. We got to do that. I mean, seriously, you have to. Yes. You have to, and you, and I'm you laughing, but you're correct. Yeah. You have to have yeah. this mindset because our lives depend upon it. We can yes. no longer play games with these people. Yes. Okay. Because, the if they don't, because if they, if you don't get them, they they're going to get you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Here's the hurting part. We love them. We thought we knew them and we allowed them to come into and have a place in our heart. Mm-hmm. And come to find out they were out to kill us. Hmm. So if you were out to kill me, to destroy me, to, to bring me down, I must call you out. And I must make you an example. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In Geta, so yeah. let it be. Mm -hmm. oh. I love the way Queen put it. We have to let heads roll. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we think about think about a lot of our forefathers. They would have done that. I know King Dawidi would have done it. I know King Shaka Zulu would have done it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Think about this, and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna end the recording because you know I don't want it to go too long. But this is good. Think about this. In scripture, you all remember um, uh, in the camp, uh, it, 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 it stated what not to do and things to do on the Samba. Mm -hmm. And the scripture mentions about a man that was gathering wood on a Samba. Mm -hmm. And the people reported that he was gathering wood. And the, the point was, you're not to do any work on the Samba. And what did the Most High tell Masa to do? He said, bring this man forth. And if I'm not mistaken, he said to stone him, correct? Mm -hmm. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Now, think about this. This was a brother that lived among the Solele. And I'm sure they <laughs> knew him well and loved him. Not saying that he was an enemy, but he did what he was not supposed to do on the Samba. And they had to stone him. Tata and Zombie's not playing. Mm -hmm. So if that happened to a brother who broke the samba. What do you think will happen to an enemy that is trying to destroy us who's keeping every word of Tata and Zombie? Hmm. Yeah, what a destruction. This is no joke. It is time to get real. And let us walk up right before Tata and Zambi. Yes. Unite and be one. So to my brothers and sisters, my family over on the continent, we are ready to come home. <laughs> We've been ready. And we're ready to come work together and to build the continent. Work side by side yes. with each other, not looking to take over or to see what we can get for ourselves, mm -hmm. but to work together and to build for each other that we all can live and have a beautiful life together. But we must first drop and relieve ourselves of Mundeli-itis and agree to walk together and to be one. No longer two kingdoms, but one. And we also must speak, decree, and declare that the Mundelis, those who don't look like you, be cast out of the land. Yes. That's a prayer every day. Hallelujah. Now, are all Europeans bad? There are some who, who know who we are and they stand in agreement with us. They do stand with us. There are some. And that is where we ask Tata and Zambi to increase and enhance our spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. Because remember, it is them who are really conniving and deceiving. But there are some who are true and they will stand with you. Because of the length of time, I'm gonna end this video but one thing I did want to talk about, and maybe we can talk about this some other time. There's a video um, that is showing um, a young white guy, a young European that has gone through the ceremony of becoming a Sangoma. In other words, now they're trying to take or tap into our spirituality. And that is something else we have to stop. Yes. 
don't let them. You don't know what you're doing. He, you, he, the most high did not give his word to them. He gave it to us. Mm -hmm. And how is it that we constantly keep always trying to share with them when they share nothing with you? Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Now, letting them learn our spirituality and our spiritual secret, that, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a no -no. Exactly. That's a no-no. Exactly. Wow. You, you sure you don't want to say anything? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> because, uh, turn, turn your video off. Turn your video off. Um, we'll, we can hear you better. <laughs> okay. From what I've heard from the coast of Khan in South Africa, you know, like he's white and he's becoming a small, which black or coast is called. Because from what I know, usually in the to be a Sangoma, it has to be an ancestor of yours. I want to know which ancestor is pulling this young white boy into becoming an ancestor. Definitely not ours. Because a white ancestor will not call you to be a Sangoma. So there's confusion there. There's this order. So I'm not understanding this. Which... At the end, it will be no good if it does become. So that's dangerous for us. Yes, it is. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> because, he, because he's tapping into a wrong ancestor. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. When I saw that, I got furious. I got furious. We have to stop giving or trying to give right these other nations our spirituality what truly belongs to us yes we have to stop i don't care if they say i really want to learn this you know i love you people i agree with you and yeah, stop that's a there is a a, a place you don't go and that's it. <laughs> you don't go there. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. We'll teach you who the people are. Yeah, that's no problem. We'll tell you. But there's only so far. There's only so much that you're entitled to and that you can handle. But see, just by you saying that, that's another trick of the enemy to use one of us, sell out, mm -hmm. to teach him this. Yes. Yes. And like, like I have seen like white sangomas because you can tell by the way they dress, they look so scary. They literally look evil. Like I remember seeing one who was like, no, a and, and he just looked very scary mm -hmm. compared to the like uh, African one. Mm -hmm. And, and, that, and right. that's a disguise for witchcraft to enter mm -hmm. in into sabotage. Mm -hmm. Yes, wrong spirituality. Thank yeah. you. I, and, and, and I tell you, like I said, this is something that we'll definitely have to talk about. Okay. Because he has even proclaimed to be a um, Tulsa, I believe. Uh -huh. He speaks the language. He speaks it very well. And he said that he is a, a, a Tulsa. And I think he said he's a proud one. Do you understand that the CIA... In and, and higher 
Mm-hmm. FBI agents, mm-hmm. FBI agents. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. See, but the, you see that that at the highest level is connected to to a certain DNA. So mm-hmm. that will end up destroying him. Mm-hmm. Remember what happened when they were calling angels from Africa? They thought they knew yeah. our spirituality. <laughs> and they called our spirituality and it destroyed them. Mm-hmm. So they can't just go willy-nilly because you learn a couple of skills and, and think that you know our spirituality. Because it doesn't connect like that. It connects with a DNA. Yes. Mm. And your melanin is the connectors. Correct. And yes. Right. Yes. It will destroy. And you don't have the right connectors. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Mm. Family, Ben and Zombie, I love you greatly. Matondo. Uh, you want to say something? Cool? Okay. <laughs> All right. Matondo Masaka and um, looking forward to uh, coming to you again. And we're definitely going to talk about this. We're definitely going to talk about this because we have to stop. We have to stop and we have to come back together. Hallelujah. Brother RV mm-hmm. Matondo, for being with us, my brother. Love you greatly and appreciate Matondo. all the work you do. <laughs> Matondo, so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Inge. Inge. And I, I got to get with you, man. It's been so crazy. And uh, <laughs> brother uh, Allison Smith, Matondo Masaka. Is, it just don't want to unmute for you, does it? <laughs> Thank you again for having me on on your program. Um, it, it's it's very encouraging. And, and encouragement means literally, I take power and I place it in your hands. That's what it means when when you receive encouragement. So this is an encouraging gathering of Yisolale. Dr. Zami's chosen people in the last days, and, and we're getting power from Dr. Zambi. Our number one source of encouragement is from the Most High Himself. We yeah. also get encouragement from our sisters and our brothers. Yeah. As you place power in my hands on this day, I thank you and get them. Hallelujah. And get them. And get them. Matondo Masaka. Hallelujah. All right, family. You all be increased. You may Tata and Zombie continue to strengthen you, to use you for his candle. May the life that you have agreed to live for him come to fruition. All that you have agreed to with him come to fruition because it's for his candle and it's for the reestablishment of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We're brothers and sisters. And and that's something that we must realize and remember. We are one family. And a brother does not harm another brother. A sister Mm -hmm. does not harm another sister. A brother does not put down another brother or sister. And a sister does not put down another brother or sister. But we build up. We encourage one another. And we do not allow anyone else to come in and try to destroy, disrupt, or discourage family. We lift each other up. We are each other's strength. So from you, or from me to you, I give you love. I give you the peace that Tata and Zambi has given me. I live with you. And may you walk in peace, in strength, and be encouraged. And let us unite. Kentwati. 
in Geta. In Geta. Geta. In Geta. In Geta. Hallelujah. 